In this video, we're going to be going over some tips, tricks, and hidden features on the new Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day, hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G right here. We have a ton of different tips and tricks and hidden features that I'm going to be showing you on this device. Obviously, a lot of you are going to know some of these tips and tricks, so if you do, let me know in the comments section down below. But also, if you do have some other tips and tricks of your own, leave them in the comments section as well. Let's try to help each other out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video out. Alright guys, so the first tip is going to be the all always on display customization. Now to get to that, we're gonna wanna go into the settings right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and type in always on display. All right, as you guys can see, it's gonna be under lock screen. So go ahead and click on always on display. Once you get on here, go ahead and turn this on if you would like to turn this on. But we also have some customization options we can do to the always on display. So as you guys can see, we have a clock style that we can go ahead and change. We have a bunch of different clocks. We can change the color of the clocks as well if you guys wanna go ahead and change the color of your clock or styles, change those as well. And we also have image clock right here. Now with this, you can add stickers, AR emoji, bitmoji, any pictures from your gallery. Say you have some pictures of your family, pictures of your dog, you can have that as you're always on display. We also have some themes right here that you guys can go ahead and add as well. You will have to sign into your little Samsung account to go ahead and do so. But uh, just for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and try out stickers right here. And of course we have this parrot right here. There are many more stickers than that as well. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and try this one out right here. Let's go ahead and click done. And if you guys notice, when the always on display turns on, we have that little sticker right there, which I thought was pretty cool. So you guys can customize a bunch of different stuff for the always on display as you guys can see. So if you guys wanna check that out, obviously type in always on display and you guys can actually go ahead and customize all of this right under that. All right guys, so our next tip is going to be actually using the power button right here. Now, if you guys don't know already, if we double tap this power button, we can actually go straight into the camera. And if you like it like that, you can leave it like that, but you can actually use this side button by clicking it twice to actually open up any application that you want on your phone. And to go ahead and do that, we're gonna go to settings. We're then going to type in side button. As you guys can see, side button's right there. Just go ahead and click on it. And as you guys can see, if we want to open an application with the side button rather than open the quick launch camera, go ahead and click on open app right here. Click on the gear icon and choose which application you want to open. Now for mine, I did click the calculator to make this easy, but if you have a favorite game or application that you want to open and you use it continuously once you open up your phone, this may be something that you want to go ahead and set it for. So we actually have our side button right here, one, two, Boom, math lead, right there. <laughs> but we have our calculator open just by the click of the side button two times. So just double press it and it will open up any application that you want. This next tip is actually something that I use personally on every single device that I have. Uh, and it's basically double tap to turn on and off the display. So if you have your phone off right here and you want to turn on your display, just double tap it and you can see all of the notifications that you have on there and stuff. And of course you can double tap it to turn it off. But as you guys can see by default, this is actually not going to be on the phone. So I'm gonna be showing you how to turn that on. So of course, like always, drop down bar menu, hit the gear icon to get into settings and just go ahead and type in double or you can type in double tap. But as you guys can see right here, we have double tap to turn off screen and double tap to turn on screen. All you're going to want to go ahead and do is click both of those on, depending on which ones you want on. I usually want both. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the phone right here. And if I double tap the display right here, my display is going to turn on and it's going to show me the time, the notifications, the date and all that type of stuff. And if I don't want it on one, two, it turns off. So that's definitely one of the things that I like to have on all of my devices. Some of you may not like it, so obviously you don't have to use it, but that was just something I wanted to show you guys. All right guys, this next tip has to do with the motion smoothness of your phone. Not a lot of you know that we actually have 120 Hertz refresh rate on this device, which basically means that you have a more fluid experience. It's going to be a lot smoother. And in this tip, we're going to be showing you how to turn that to the highest capable ability of 
uh, motion smoothness and the lowest if you guys are trying to save some sort of battery. So obviously we're going to go into the settings once more. Then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to where it says display. Go ahead and click on display right there. And we have something called motion smoothness down here. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on that. And once you get in here, as you guys can see, your high motion smoothness says get smoother animations and scrolling with a 120 hertz screen refresh rate. Um, I'm not sure if this is on by default. I'm pretty sure it is. But if it's not and you want that high refresh rate, just go to motion smoothness. Go ahead and click on that and you should be good. Now, as far as if you want to save battery, you don't have a ton of battery right now. We do have a standard mode. So you get longer battery life with a 60 hertz screen refresh rate. So if you guys are in a little bit of a predicament and you need to save some battery life, we can actually go ahead and click on standard and then go ahead and click on apply. And now you have 60 hertz refresh rate instead of 120. All right, everyone. So our next tip is going to be one of my favorites. And I feel like a lot of people do not know this tip right here. And this is going to be called notification pop up style. Now you guys are really, really going to like this, especially if you like to customize every single aspect of your phone. This is one of the coolest things on this device. So we're going to go into settings right here. Then we're going to go ahead and type in notification pop up style. Now, as you guys can see, if you just type in noti, we're going to have notification pop up style right there. So you don't even need to type it all the way in, but uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And as you guys can see, it says notification pop up style again, go ahead and click on that. Now we have two options. We have brief and we have detailed. So if you guys want to know more about your notifications, like who texted you, what the text says, uh, what your bank statement says on a notification or something like that, obviously click detailed. If you want more of a private styled notification where everybody's not seeing your information pop up on your phone when you get a notification, just go ahead and click on brief and you should be good. Now, the one really, really cool thing that I like about notification pop up style has to be the edge lighting right here. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but if you go ahead and click on edge lighting, basically gives you a little bit of a sample through text what each uh, pop-up style is gonna be like. So we have our bubble right here. When you get a text right there, that's how it's going to show you. So those little bubbles are gonna pop. We have our hearts right here. Boom, you got hearts right there. We also have some fireworks. Got fireworks when we get a text. We have our spotlight as well which is pretty cool. I really like that one. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and click on the hearts. And if we would like to change the color, we can go ahead and click color and pick any color that we want on here, any color on the spectrum that we want. And that's also going to change the color of your notification envelope as well. As you guys can see, that green is going to be matching with the green down here. We have red. So if you guys wanna go ahead and kind of customize your phone a little bit more, especially like in the way of notifications, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, we also have the duration of it as well. So if you want it uh, to do that animation for a long time, obviously you guys can set how long you want it down here and it's going to give you a little sample of how long it plays. Also, if you guys want a little bit more transparency, you guys can put that on high or low. Uh, just whatever settings you want. But I thought this was super, super cool, uh, especially since a lot of people don't know about this. All right, everyone. So our next tip is going to have to do with the customization of the style of your phone as well. So this is going to be a very basic one. All we're going to have to do is go ahead and hold on the screen. And we have something in the bottom left corner called wallpaper and style. We're going to want to go ahead and click on that. Now, once you've clicked on that, we have change wallpapers. And if you do want to change your wallpaper, you guys can obviously change uh, your wallpaper to a photo in your gallery or something that you've downloaded online from your gallery. Um, and we also do have some preloaded wallpapers on here as well that Samsung has provided, which is cool. We have some graphical ones, colors, and we have other wallpaper services that you guys can download. I honestly prefer Zedge or Wally -E because they have some really high quality um, wallpapers on there and I think they're actually better than what Samsung offers but if you have any questions on that leave me a comment down below and I'll go ahead and uh, expand on that but if you go back right here we have something called color palette that we are getting into now we're gonna go and click on that uh, this is really cool because if you guys like a certain color uh, like I do you can actually make all of the applications correlate to that exact color so say we want to go ahead and uh, choose green 
As far as our notifications, our drop down bar menu, our calculator, our phone application, that is all going to be green. So as you guys see, it's pink right now. Uh, if we go ahead and apply that, our entire style of everything now is going to be green. So if you guys have a favorite color, go into color palette, you can go ahead and pick a basic color or a two-tone color, which is super cool. And we also have some other little tiny packets of colors right here as well. So if you want more than one color and you kind of want a pattern or whatever, they have some wallpaper colors inside of this thing as well, which is super, super cool. I usually just like to use the either two-tone or the basic color. So for this one, let's use the green and I don't know, forest green or dark blue on here. And this is how it looks. As you guys can see, so we have the green and blue in perfect unison right here. Um, and if you guys want something a little bit different, obviously go ahead and customize that to your liking. All right, everyone. So this next tip is going to be extremely basic, but also extremely helpful. Uh, and there's two different ways of performing this, but this is called a screenshot. Now we actually have our basic screenshot uh, that we're going to show you right here. So to take a basic screenshot, all we're going to want to do is hold down the power button and the volume down key at the same time. So we're gonna click the volume down key and the power button at the exact same time and hold it for about a second. Three, two, one, click, boom. And as you guys can see, we took our screenshot right there. If we'd like to, we can go ahead and share. We can also crop the image right here and edit it and draw on it and stuff, which is cool. Uh, but that's the first way to take a screenshot on your Galaxy A25 5G. The next one is actually way cooler and uh, we're gonna actually need to turn something on to utilize it. So first thing we're gonna do is go to settings right here. We're next gonna go ahead and click on palm swipe to capture. So go ahead and click on that. Going to take us all the way over here. And as you guys see, it says palm swipe to capture. It says swipe the edge of your hand across the screen to take a screenshot. So we're gonna need to turn that on because that's not on by default. Now, once that is on, if you wanna take a screenshot, this is all you have to do. This is pretty cool and it kinda has a learning curve so it takes a little bit getting used to but if we go ahead and do this boom takes a screenshot pretty cool pretty cool stuff so we just swipe it from edge to edge three two one boom takes a screenshot so if you want to <laughs> impress your friends or you want to show someone something cool if, or if you think it's easier to use you guys can go ahead and set that up for your screenshot now i kind of like the manual way better, but some people may like the palm way better. So there you go. All right, everyone, so our next tip is going to be split screen, and this is something that we've had for years and years. So we've, I believe, had it since Android 8.0, maybe even before that. But if we wanna go ahead and utilize split screen, it's actually very simple. So we're gonna go ahead and press our recents right here. And if you don't have the buttons on your phone, obviously you're gonna wanna hold right there when you swipe up and it should give you a recents if you have the gestures instead of the uh, regular buttons on the display. But if you have the buttons, we're gonna wanna go ahead and click recents. And we have a little application logo at the top of every single application as you guys can see right here. So depending on what application you're currently on, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on that logo. So as you guys see right here, we've clicked on the logo. It gives us a few different options. It says app info, open it split screen view, uh, open a pop up view. And uh, we're obviously gonna wanna open up in split screen view. So go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to ask you to select another application. Now you can select any application that you want on here, uh, but I'm gonna make this very basic and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on notes. So that is everything that you have to do to open up split screen on your device. It's very, very simple. And depending on what application you guys would want to go full screen in, obviously we hold on this little thing right here in the middle, it's like a divider. And we go ahead and go to full screen. So we wanted the calculator, swiped all the way down, got the calculator. If we wanted the notes, we would have swiped the divider all the way up to have the notes. So very, very easy, very, very seamless. And it works very well with the Galaxy A25. All right guys, so our next tip is going to be around the navigation bar. As you guys know, the navigation bar is something that's going to be at the bottom of your screen right here. 
Now we actually do have something called gestures instead of buttons. And if you guys don't want the buttons this way, you guys can actually flip them. And to go ahead and do that is go into settings. We're gonna go into our search bar and we're gonna go ahead and type in navigation. Now, as you guys can see, even if you put nav in, navigation bar should pop up. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and click on that. Once we are in here, we have our navigation bar at the bottom right here. Go ahead and click it again. And we have a few different options. Now, we have our navigation type selected as buttons first and foremost. And if you guys would like to change your button order, of course, we have two different options. We have the recents on the left or the recents on the right. And uh, everything's flipped right there. So if you guys want to go and change that, that's how you go ahead and change that. And we also have swipe gestures. So if you guys want to turn on swipe gestures instead, this is how swipe gestures are. And it's actually pretty easy uh, to use swipe gestures. You basically just hold up like you're on an iPhone right here to go to your recents and stuff. And um, it's kind of a little bit more minimalistic. And to obviously go back, boom, right there. And to go home, just like so. Very, very basic to use. Uh, gestures I just really like the buttons honestly all right everyone so for our last tip uh, I'm just gonna show you something a little bit fun it's kind of like an Easter egg for Android 14 and as you guys know every Android version that we get has an Easter egg each year so for this little cool Easter egg it actually opens up or pops open a video game which is super super cool so we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom of your settings once you're in settings we are then going to click on about phone. Next, we're gonna go into software information and then we're gonna go ahead and click on Android version a bunch of times till this opens up. And as you guys can see, it has like this little space background, which is super cool. And it shows us Android 14. Next thing you wanna do is just hold on Android 14 and we are going to go into warp speed and everything's just gonna start shaking. And it's gonna pop up like this little asteroids game right here so if you guys want to try this out you guys want to show this to a friend go ahead and check this out this is super super cool it also shows you your class your radius your mass your bodies um, and i'm sure there's some other easter eggs that you can find out inside of this game as well so super super cool stuff uh, those were the tips and tricks that I found most valuable on the Galaxy A25 5G. Obviously, if you have your own, again, let's help each other out in the comments section down below and go ahead and let our people know about some cool tips and tricks that you found on your Galaxy A25 5G. But again, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Hopefully you guys got home safe. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe. And if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from Sackrite. Peace out, Sack Gang.